Hello friends and welcome to the channel. Today as a tribute to our nation's independence, 4th of July that is coming up, we're going to build a very simple patriotic decoration for your house. If today is your first time visiting with us, we want to extend you a very warm welcome and invite you to visit our playlist where all our videos, almost 400 at this moment, are arranged so you can easily find what you would like and what might be useful for you. We are confident you will find something that you would like. If you have been here before but you have not subscribed, do subscribe. It is of great help to us. If today is your birthday, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. So today's project is going to be a very simple, a beginner project. Something that you can do in a couple of hours in an afternoon so you can decorate your house for 4th of July that is really coming up in, in uh, just 3-4 days from now and uh, also you can give for gifts so you have time, you have done nothing for it it will be a fast and easy project anyone can do it stick around and see how we are going so once again we raided our uh, scrap bin and we found a piece of thin wood that we think is appropriate for this project and we are going to choose one of the two sides that we think will look best and as you can see that's, that's a fairly thin piece of wood, we want it light so we can easily hang it from the wall we are going to start by squaring this piece so this will be your first step So it's exactly 15 and a half inches wide, but it's a little too long on this edge. So we're going to need to mark it at 15 and a half to make a square. And then we're going to need to use a straight edge to create a line. Alright, and, and now we're going to go to our table saw and change blades so we can cut this. Alright, I've set my, my saw with the thinnest blade I have and also the, the biggest uh, number of teeth because we want to try and be as smooth as we can on our cut. It is not critical because here we'll, all, we'll have usually a, what do you call it? A, Edge, not point. a point. So, even though it's not critical, I'm always trying to have the <coughs> the smoothest cuts that I can. So we are going to square this piece, and we're going to be right with you. Okay, with our square piece, we are ready to trace our design and make the final cuts. Okay. With our piece cut to the correct dimension, it is time for us to draw and cut our star. So we've got to um, try to find some balance, some symmetry in this star. It's a little hard with a five-pointed star, but I started with the middle of the board. And I measured exactly half and then use a straight piece to draw a line. And then I worked around, I, I went through a couple of iterations to see how even I could get the points to be, and I came up with something that I think will work. Um, you know, without using geometric calculations, I think I've created, in my brain anyway, something close to where we want to end up. So I'm drawing lines between my points here. So 
that we can see where to cut. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It can have some personality, a bit will be a little wonky. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, which this one's probably not going to be, but that's okay. It's going to be a star and it's going to be a decoration have some personality. And it will be clear it was not mass produced. <laughs> it will be very clear. And I just missed my mark, so I'm going to have to do some erasing, which is fine. This one's going to have a fat head, short arms, and long legs. Okay, I missed my mark over here. And as you can see here at the Urban Home Study Channel, we spare no expense. Very fice, fancy straight line. Yeah, very fancy. And again, the fun with a pencil is you can erase your mistakes. And see which line you actually intend to use. And we also try to show you you can do this project and any project using minimal tools as long as you use your imagination. Many pre-cut wood will have at least one perfect straight edge, right? Yeah. And again, if it is not perfectly per straight, this is a handmade craft. And if you look at the handmade crafts of past, they were not perfect, but that's what added to the, their charm, right? I don't know if we can see the lines. We'll take our word that there are lines there. Mm -hmm. There. Okay, so we're going to go to Banzo and, and start cutting. Are you recording this? Yes. I don't. So we're going to try one more modification and we will tell you if it works or not, otherwise uh, what we told you is what we're going to go with. So, we have a big eraser for uh, slightly, slightly small oops and our eraser actually says oops on it. The oops eraser. Stars are always finicky. A few years ago we did a star for a Christmas decoration and it was also finicky. So don't be discouraged by that. You might want to do that inside when it is cool, when it is 90 degrees outside, like it is today here, but whatever makes you comfortable, right? Right. I mean, once you cut it, you cannot fix it? What about wood glue? What about wood glue? You can glue it back together and start over. No? <laughs> no. That's a question. No. Oh man. That was my plan B. Design set. We're ready now to cut the star on our table so. I'm oh, no, sorry. This is our band so.
Okay, we are done. And as you can see, we have the shape we want. It is about time. It is a very warm day here and the garage is warm. We have not installed our AC. We probably need to, to do that as a priority very soon. Okay. And uh, now we're going to move inside in the air conditioning space to actually do the painting. Okay, sounds like a plan to me because it's getting a little sweaty out here. Okay, let's go inside. You don't want, you don't like sweaty? Depends on the sweat. So we're inside in the air conditioning and we have the red, white and blue colors. And now we're getting ready to paint our star. Okay, so I've got some blue here. Just make the top all one color. That's probably a lot. It's the heat. It, it has never been need to be shaken before. It will still work. Look a little wise, but don't waste it. I'm not wasting it. I'm going to do it right. You just waste all that blue. Much better. Perfectionist freak. I'm not a freak. You're a freak. This is our normal paint. We really like this paint because it goes in easily. It doesn't make a mess, it doesn't run and it covers a lot of space. Right? Mm -hmm. This isn't as dark as I would like it for the navy blue of the American flag. but That's not navy blue? No. What is it? It's uh, Looks blue to me. It's more of a royal blue. Are you implying we're not royal? And as you can see, this goes down very nicely. And you can attach this to a wall or put it as a decoration on a, a fireplace mantle. Or you can use command strips or something similar to keep it up, right? Mm -hmm. It is fairly light and that was instrumental in our decision to use um, a light wood thin and, and so forth. We didn't want it to be very heavy for the wall. And also, we can go on. Like all our projects, you can scale it up or down to fit your specific needs. Oh, the next one was red. Sure. Yes. This is red. Oh, okay. That's what I was doing. So I do wanted to make sure that in the next one is red. Okay. That's all what I was doing. Looks like blood. It doesn't look a little bit like blood. Okay, gang, you see the process and uh, we are going to get back in a little bit when we're close to finish. All right, friends, and this is our finished product. We are going to use command strips to attach it to our wall. So we're going to do that now. I don't know how to touch it without. Bring around the roses, dancing? yes. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We certainly enjoyed making it. This is a project that you can do in maybe a couple of hours if you're not filming, don't you think? Yeah. And again, like all our projects, you can scale it up or down to fill your needs. You can even make it huge and put it on a stand, right? Mm -hmm. But for us, this is uh, the nice size. And by using command strips, you have the flexibility of removing it and, and going to a different space if you so choose without damaging your surface, your wall or whatever it's on. 
So we hope you like it. This is uh, a simple, again, a, a, anyone can do this project. You don't need a lot of tools. You can do it with a hand tool. If you have a, a zig saw or a bunch saw, those are preferable because they leave straight uh, lines when they connect. So it makes a nice clear cut, right? Mm -hmm. Where your circular saw will not be. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button. It means a lot. If you didn't, smash the other button twice. Say or like, subscribe and comment. And let us know what you're going to see, you want to see in the channel. And we're going to see you on Wednesday with a quickie and next weekend with another project. Other than that, from the Garage Wizard, Mrs. Wizard, and the everyone, not, wrong channel, and the Urban Homestanding channel, we want to wish you a very happy 4th of July and a great week. I hope you have a great time and we want to bid you well.